we are in Denmark. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to the first stop off on this cruise. So we are currently on board the DNA Britannia. We're very kindly invited um, on this cruise as a family. We are having literally the best time. Uh, we had an amazing sea day yesterday. Uh, we've got a whole vlog about that on the channel if you haven't seen it already. And um, we're documenting everything on over on our Instagram pages. So make sure you're following us there if you're not already. Um, but honestly, I'm so excited for today. So we are in a place called Skagen, um, which is the very top of Denmark. And we are going to the absolute top point of the top of Denmark. Uh, to do something very very cool as part of like an excursion on board so George and Koda are in the cabin uh, good morning good George morning, good morning good morning good morning we're ready up very early 6am we were up oh, which I, was I mean up. normal for us with the baby but up uh, showered oh yeah ready. <laughs> his face floods in the bed do you know what this little guy is acting like a teenager already he was the last one up today and I couldn't get you up could no, I couldn't wake you didn't want to wake up <laughs> we're in Denmark this is your second country ever you excited? He's not sure, that's fine. Okay, I think he's still half asleep. That's fine, we'll ask you again later, no problem. Right, we're gonna head to the buffet breakfast yeah. this morning to try it out. We did the restaurant yesterday. There's different options on board. And actually, I asked on my Instagram yesterday if you would pick buffet, restaurant, or room service breakfast, because there's three options. And loads of people said buffet, which surprised me. Like literally, like 80% of people said buffet. So leave me a comment right now. Are you restaurant, buffet, or room service breakfast? What would be your go-to? Your buffet. You like buffet breakfast, do you? <laughs> Still tired. That's fine, darling. You can have a sleep in the buggy, can't you? So anyway, if you guys are new around here and you're looking forward to more cruise videos, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And it lets YouTube know you enjoy watching these videos. So hopefully we can keep making them go on more cruises, all that fun stuff. So let's head to breakfast now. We've got all the bags. We've got our tickets for our excursions. I'm gonna go and see what buffet breakfast is all about. So we've got our breakfast at around 8 a.m. and already it is pretty busy up there. Although people are quite respectful. People don't get in each other's ways and I haven't had to wait around for anything. So my breakfast stays nice and hot, even though I've gone to get it myself today. Okay, we are just pulling into the port at Denmark. Yeah, a little bit gray and cloudy actually, but hopefully it all got like orange roofs. It looks so Danish. It's so cool. Um, this is a fishing village. I think it's 600 years old. Or I mean, of course, it was around before then. But like, did the fishing start 600 years ago? I don't know. It must really have know. done. Um, According to the internet. And then we're heading this way, all the way along today on this tour we're doing. So um, very excited. Just finishing up breakfast now. I've actually need to start. And I've got coffee, the smoothie of the day, which is blueberry and banana. I've got a little pot with it and some seeds some porridge and a little bit of cooked breakfast as well, so literally a bit of everything this morning. It's quite easy once we get off the ship because all we have to do is find the area for our tour. Then we're taking on a coach, whisked away and everything is done for us, but just getting a coffee in, getting some food in, and then we're going to explore. First time off the ship since Southampton, two days. And it's weird actually, isn't it, getting off? <laughs> it feels like we're back in England, to be honest, it's with crazy. this weather. <laughs> uh, but we're off on our trip, so there's a coach waiting for us. Um, Koda is ready in a brand new country. Travelling baby. So this is Koda's, I don't know, fourth country maybe already. Um, so he's definitely the, the, the travel baby that we thought he might be. The thing about cruises, you, you tick off a lot of countries on one single trip, so uh, that's great. So we've just got to find our coach and then head off. It's amazing seeing like the vastness of the ship from down here. Just look at the ship from here. It's really cold. I can't get it all in. Yeah, it is cold, isn't it? I'm wearing shorts. I've not packed anything for this weather. <laughs> few people on their balconies waving us off. Comment below if you can spot anyone. That was 
so funny. So we just got off the coach and we pulled up outside the museum and the guy was like, I'm awfully sorry, there's no one here. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> but it's fine, someone's come. It's just, it just proves how tiny and um, quaint this little town is. We were just driving through on the coach and um, you go right up to people's houses and it's like, I still does like Playmobil houses. If anyone remembers Playmobil, they're all the same kind of colour. Um, it's like a toy town or something. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like this. So cool. Um, so now we're just at the local museum. We're going to have a little look around in here, learn a bit about the history of this place. Koga had loved his first coach journey. He was just looking out the window the you whole did, time. did, didn't you? What did you think? What did you think? <laughs> chill with a windmill in the background and these old houses we've just been listening to the guy telling us the history of the place um, super interesting it's such a small town but was, um, talking about all the fishermen that used to work here I think it's so nice that Coda's getting these experiences yes he's not going to remember this no. when he's older but he will be able to watch these vlogs yeah <laughs> he has done it <laughs> yeah Oh, we've completed the treacherous journey of about five steps up to the windmill and we're taking in some views. I mean, the windmill's great, but actually I'm liking like the, the view, view outside, yeah. of the town now behind so us. All the yellow houses and the buildings. Go on. I'd love to look inside these houses. I feel like they'd be so Go satisfying. Go knock on the door. Shall I? You don't know. Just good morning. Hello. I'm on a... I'm on a tour of your town, just wondered if can I could have a, little look? have a look around your house. See what's in your cupboards, <laughs> see what's in your fridge. We can also see the cruise ship from where we are. The just here pretender. yeah never too far away from that buffet are you <laughs> <laughs> now we have this very large fishing boat and it's very busy in the harbor during summertime because a lot of uh, small boats come from sweden and norway and germany all year around but during summertime around fifty thousand people this is so this is our new mode of transport ditched the coach and we're going for the tractor bus which is going to take us to the northern tip of Denmark where we can see two seas meet Baltic Sea and North Sea yes two seas physically meet and you can see the border of these two seas which on photos and videos mind-blowing um, cool pretty, cool. well. yeah, pretty cool bit of nature <laughs> Geography. <laughs> Geography. Wow, okay, this is very cool. I didn't quite know what to expect, but I mean, obviously a crazy busy, big tourist destination this is, so we're not gonna get that kind of Instagram friendly photo of just us no. with the two C's, but unless we're really good on Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But if we look this side, I don't know which one's which, so I'm sorry for that. But if we look here, there is a C. Okay, cool, so we think this is the Baltic Sea coming in this way the waves are crashing in this direction and then if I turn around directly opposite the North Sea crashing this way in this direction so honestly it, I've never seen anything like it this sea's coming here and then this sea is coming this way very cool and then the tip is right at the end here where obviously everyone is crowding and wanting to see the two pieces of water actually meet so should we walk down it's very cool it's like a phenomenon of yeah, nature, of the world, of earth. Love it. And I like having the sand on my toes again. And apparently, yeah, of course. I didn't you think this. I didn't think. Yes. I didn't think this would be a beach vacation, but here we are. So we're going to walk to the end and try and see where the seas actually meet. And you can apparently see the difference of the water. So here is where the two seas meet. You can see the waves are kind of crossing over. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. This is the exact point where the two seas are meeting. It's so cool. And the sea is absolutely freezing. Oh my god, it's really cold. It's like Arctic cold. Okay, we found this little cafe just before getting back on the coach. Picking up a quick coffee and then we found this amazing looking Toblerone cake. It's actually gluten free and it looks delicious. So we're going to have that now. We're just sharing the coffee because... I don't know why. And we've got about 20 minutes before we get back on the ship. No, we're not getting back on the ship. We've got something else to do but we can't remember what it is.
<laughs> wow. So we always have to try something from the local area. And this is a, I mean it's not traditional, but it's Tobler, what is it, a Toblerone cake? I mean, <laughs> look at this first. Do not drop the cake. Do not drop the cake. Wait, I'll do it. This just looks unbelievable, so we're going to try a little bit. We like to Ooh, it's soft in them. My, my spoon bent. Mm. 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 Delicious, unbelievable. And how is the first coffee in Denmark? Very hot still. Nice, very nice. Wow, not too, not too dark. Quite a balanced the coffee that is, that's very nice. And we are now at the sunken or buried Both. church. It's not very buried or sunken now, but this used to be a big church. They've just preserved the tower, um, but it used to be a full church and every Sunday they'd have to bury it out of the sand to go and go to church. Dig it out. Dig it out, what did I say? Bury it out. Bury it out. Is that not good English? Dig it out. Dig it out. Dig it out. And then the tower is all that remains from that, but it's really cool and it's really like a really different looking church. It looks very Danish, doesn't it, if you know what I mean? It doesn't look anything like a church you see in England. Very cool. And it's actually just in the middle of the forest, so we've walked here, it's about a 10 minute walk from the coach, and it's really beautiful. Like the, the types of trees are really different and like different to how it looks um, in other countries that I've seen before. Let's get to have a little walk around now. So it's going to enjoy this. The sun has been peeking out of the clouds. Um, it's always oh, so beautiful. I really don't think it's coming out as well on camera as it looks in person. But it's these kind of hilly, hilly bushes and trees and amazing. Mm -hmm. 